Welcome to The Apprentice, you're fired. As ever, with the help of unseen footage, we'll be delving into the detritus of tonight's task as 15 business brains lined up to compete for Lord Sugar's £250,000 business investment. For the candidates, this process, as well as all the hard work, gives them a teasing glance at what life as a successful tycoon would be like. To our panel tonight, who are poised to pounce on the one who didn't get away. We've designer and entrepreneur Rob Law, columnist Grace Dent, and comedian Hugh Dennis. Welcome to your fart. Tonight's task of designing a new product left one candidate taking an early bath. I'm not clear what, in fact, you did in this task. The one problem I have with my little boy when I'm in the bath is he makes some mess. When he's in the bath, he just splashes everywhere, and he splashes everywhere, and I'm always like, please stop splashing, stop splashing. Try and make bath time a little bit less messy, OK? Why has nobody thought of this sooner? The, uh, I mean, you've designed stuff for, for kids. Yeah. I mean, the trunky case, you're currently working on the backpack, which is a... Yeah, the car seat booster, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I mean, you have to start with something that's genuinely a problem. Though. Sure. I mean, we always start with that, a process that involves the focus group, as, as Alan Sugar set out for you guys. It was, it was getting a target market there, ask them some questions, and, yeah, that were, I think, on the episode, no one was interested in the bath guard, and, and for some reason they got picked up later on, but uh, no one wanted the bath guard, and I think you were bang on. Um, uh, when you were out in the research, you were saying we shouldn't be uh, opinionated by our own opinions, we should just be listening to the public and seeing what they want and not be too sidetracked by what we think, which is exactly what you need to do. No, she said she could do it, and then she ended up dividing it like me, dividing a bar bill after three bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to do the maths and that, so no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm being oversimplified simple here. In this kind of situation, margin would be basically the ratio of how much you yeah. sell it for versus how much you bought yeah, it for. Yeah, it's all about margin in our industry. We're in the baby market. No one makes 240%. It's more about 40%. So um, they were so far off, it was unbelievable. But this is more than all the babies born in Britain, <laughs> in, Britain in any given year. Yeah, so yes. that's, that's the calculation but they We've already done. worked out it doesn't cover the whole bath. So you'd have to buy two or three just to box <laughs> yeah. it off. That's true. That is true. And there are exports, of course. Of course, yes. <laughs> but British children. You splurge. <laughs> <laughs> well, Marie's journey on, on finding money to this mm -hmm. process is, is over at the moment. It is, a, it is a tough thing to do. You went to another television show. Yeah, yeah, we went on, <clears throat> took the trunkies on Dragon's Den. It's almost six years ago I took them on, the ride on suitcases. Uh, the pitch started perfectly. It was back in the episode um, where Richard Farley was there and he, I took him for a tow around the studio. He really enjoyed it. I think um, uh, Theo got a bit jealous because I didn't offer him a ride, so he started tugging away at the trunkies and uh, he ended up pulling off one of the towing leashes and it all kind of fell over there and went down, downhill very rapidly. Um, but kind of left the den thinking, oh my God, I've ruined my business. When this airs on the telly, uh, how am I going to recover? Um, but the public saw through it. Um, we've sold a million, over a million units. We're exporting to 62 countries. Um, we've won over 50 awards for the product. And in fact, the last time I saw um, Theo, I was picking up Young Business of the Year Award at the Grown Business Awards. Um, <laughs> so I... <laughs> So, so yeah, that, that was a nice moment. What did you think about Adam and his, and his enthusiasm oh, for this idea? He was very passionate, which is all a good thing, but you've got to listen to people. And he completely overruled that guy who said, I wouldn't buy it. And he lied to his team, saying there wasn't anyone who did not, not, not like the idea. He didn't much overrule him. He said, thanks <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. Uh, which is <laughs> one way of getting, dealing but, with it. Far too bit. often people get so passionate about their ideas that they don't listen, they don't do the market research. and and they don't get the feedback that'll help them steer them in the, in the direction of a product that you can sell rather than something you can only shelf. We've taken the spotlight off you for a little while, Maria. But oh, thank God. Sorry, keep going. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's back on you, I'm afraid. Oh, great, yeah. thanks. Uh, we'll move into our vote. Rob, do you think Lord Sugar is right to fire Maria? Um, <sighs> oh, here we go, be careful. No, I, I don't think on this particular episode because it was all about the product and the product idea. OK, Grace? Uh, yeah, I do think he was right to get rid of you and I think you've had a lucky escape and I think that you should go and do what you're going to do anyway and I look forward to coming to all of your restaurants <laughs> but I don't think that you should be tied down by something so corporate I think you should just go and do your own thing you'll make your own money anyway good luck thank you Hugh uh, no I don't think he should have fired you but, you know it's about the people who are going to create ideas and I think you're much more likely to do that than Jenna who I uh, think should have gone it's your turn here in the audience. If you agree with Lord Sugar, hold up fire. If you don't, 
Hold apart. Oh, it's oh. very, very tight, but... Oh, it's so more green. Yeah, you're going to go for green. <laughs> you're tell me it's green. Oh, what the hell, it's a draw. 50-50, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Could have gone either way. OK, see you at the same time next week. Good night. <laughs>